Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four items from Wicked Kitchen. These were sent to us from Eleanor in the UK, so thank you very much to Eleanor. We have some cookies and some slices here. Uh, these are the Double Trouble Chocolate Cookies, and then I have five Gold Shimmer Bakewell Slices. And these are the Outrageously Orange and Chocolatey Cookies, or Chocolate Cookies, I put E on the end of it, um, and five Chocolate Orange Slices. So we're gonna try the orange stuff last because orange is usually a, a stronger. Now, this has nothing to do with the product itself. Go ahead, keep it. Um, I think it's interesting that these came from the UK, but yeah. they're saying they're cookies. Yes, instead because of Because normally they say this. Um, hi. That's interesting. We're Derek and Chad. We're chefs and brothers who craft humble vegetables into stuff a food legend. Everything we create is a bold marriage of delicate and punchy flavors, crunchy textures, and all with knife sharp attention to detail. We're proud graduates of the University of Common Sense who simply believe that eating more veg is good for you and good for the planet. Prepare for Veg Unleashed, chocolate flavor cookies with dark chocolate chips. Uh, these are uh, 113 calories each, and they are vegan. They smell like a Chips Ahoy. These say they're made for Tesco. Oh, mm -hmm. Tesco stores. And then it's definitely surprising they're called cookies. Um, I like it. I think it's a, a. It reminds me of Chips Ahoy. Yeah, it does. It's a tad bit dry, but like it's a Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. <laughs> um, Kevin's right. It, it's it's not super sweet, just like Chips Ahoy. It's it? a very very comparable to a Chips Ahoy. And so these are vegan. Yes. So it's a vegan Chips Ahoy, basically. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. It, it, yeah, and and we're saying that because not in a bad way. It's just that's what they are. That's what they no, are. but I, I have probably primarily Americans watching me. So we like to be able to compare to something you can relate to. And that that's what exactly what that tastes yeah. like. So I think they did a terrific job mm -hmm. uh, replicating that flavor. Yeah. They really no, did. Um, I wouldn't I mean, know there was anything. No, they're good. They, they don't taste bad at all. So if, you're, if you want a vegan cookie, I think you're safe to oh, yeah. try them out. So these are the Bakewell slices. A very good bake. Sweet pastry with raspberry conserve and almond frangipan. Hand sprinkled with sliced almonds. They're gluten free, they're vegan. One slice is 130 calories. And uh, I know what a good Bakewell, and Kevin does too, what a good Bakewell should taste like, so. Um, We'll, we'll take it for like The it. top is kind of uh, spongy, like uh, rubbery. Hmm. Not bad. Mm -mm. It's got a little bit of an aftertaste for me, but. It's nice. It, um, it's a little gritty. That's what I was going to point out. Yeah. It's a little bit, if you're comparing these to like a Mr. Kipling slice, I think they're really good quality. And mm -hmm. I think if you are going after something vegan, you're going to love these. I, I think they really do have a great raspberry flavor. You taste the almond. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like it. The texture's good. It's a little bit compared to like a Mr. Kipling. It's a, it's less cakey and more gritty. Yeah. And it's a little bit drier, but that could also be because it has been mailed all the way from the UK. If you bought it fresh right there, and because uh, these have very short shelf lives. So if you bought it there, it might not come across as dry to you, is what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, but my, I, yeah my only complaint is they're just a little grainy. But, but it is, a, yes, it's a- And they're a little dry, but the dryness I'm not worried about. It's the graininess, and, and there's a little bit of an aftertaste for me. Oh, I don't not get bad. I don't get any bad. of the aftertaste. I just I have a good after uh, aftertaste. I get the almond aftertaste. Um, it is it does have a little bit of grittiness to it though compared to Mr. Kipling. But I absolutely think it's it's. Well, I would eat it. But I'd rather eat the cookie. You'd rather eat the cookie. Mm -hmm. I would rather eat the slice. Really? Yeah, I like the slice. Okay, 
So now we're heading into orange, chocolate orange territory I'm here. Sure I'm here. <laughs> so, let's see. This is outrageously orange and chocolate cookies. Orange, you glad. Uh, chunky cookies with rich chocolate drops and zesty orange pieces. Vegan. One cookie is 112 calories. Hey, look, they didn't shirk on the chips. Look, look how many chips are in there. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of chocolate chips. Cookies with dark chocolate chips and candied orange peel. That's what it is. You know when you get to the orange peel. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty tart and a little orange. Well, no, I wasn't going on flavor at all. No, just the texture. The texture. Yeah. It is. It's a little chewy, sticking your teeth mm -hmm. kind of texture. Yeah, they're denser. Um, they're denser pieces that that orange. I got one stuck in my teeth. You know what though. We've had um, lots of orange with chocolate, and I do not think they overdid the orange at all. No. I think it's a nice um, burst of orange that lets you know it's in there, but it's not overpowering at all. No, I agree. It, it is. I do get a little tartness from it. They're a little sour almost, mm -hmm. bitter, a little bitter, I should say, from the, the peel, but... And then you get that a little... Uh, I just... Sound, probably sounds TMI, but I don't... A little bit of orange peel left over in my mouth and so that gets chewy with the heat from your mouth it's, it's actually a really nice cookie yeah, I think. it's not bad it's i like the person better kevin is not a chocolate orange person like i am um i really like chocolate orange um he likes it but just not as much as me so he's probably mm. always gonna pick uh, like between apples and oranges, literally, Kevin will always pick the apple. I would always pick the orange. That's just a, the difference. This is a little messy. And so these are five orange <clears throat> chocolate orange slices. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Simply the zest. <laughs> Simply the zest. Uh, chocolate and orange flavored sponge with chocolate flavored frosting and orange pieces. A uh, gluten-free vegan one slice is 115 calories. Now I've got that song in my head. Do it yourself. Thank you, Derek and Chad. Now that's Derek and Chad's <laughs> ball. <laughs> that one have, was a much um, moister cake. Mm. Very, very, very almost melt in your mouth um, soft. Yeah, it was. Yes, it. Um, it, this is like nothing else here because mm -hmm. it's so soft. But you do get, just like the cookies had those orange uh, pieces. Yeah, those hunks. There's pieces in this too. They don't come across as um, tough as in the cookies. Right. Not saying anything bad about the cookies, but they just, this is just an all around softer cake. Yeah. And it, these, I'm sure they would have gotten stuck in my teeth, but they, they didn't. But I, can, I didn't get that bitter flavor either. I can tell you right now, the cookies last a long time. So the cookies are going to last until halfway through next year. I can tell you that right now. The slices, this this one, uh, the orange one in particular, is still good for at least another week. Whereas the first slices we tried, the date is like right now as we're trying these. So. And that's probably why these are softer right. is because they still have over a week left. And so that's why I'm not being hard on the Bakewell slices for the texture being a little and being a little bit dry. Because I do think if you when you buy them there, they're going to be moister. I mean, these have gone through the mail, you know, so you have to allow for that. So what is your favorite thing here? The first cookie. Really? The double trouble of chocolate cookies. I like the bake. Well, like no surprise to anybody who watched Bake Bakewells were good. Yeah. They were just I a little, them. it was just love the them. texture more for me than anything. It was a little gritty. They are a little bit gritty. And I do think no matter when you buy them, you're probably going to get a little oh, yeah. bit of grittiness because yeah. uh, the almond and all that in them. But I love the flavor combination. I mm -hmm. always love that flavor combination, the raspberry and the almond. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah, terrific. It's really good. 
Um, good product though. I think it's yes. really good, especially if you're vegan and you're looking for something vegan. I think you'll be happy with it. Absolutely. So Eleanor, if you've tried all four of these, let us know which one was your favorite. Anyone else that wants to chime in, I would love to know your opinions and thanks for watching.